Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you here today on Thankful Thursday. What a beautiful morning here in Santan Valley, Arizona. I can't tell you how, how nice it is to spend the winters here and be able to train horses all day long out here in, with this beautiful weather. I know in most parts of the United States, you're not that fortunate. So I, I and I, I feel bad for you, but I love where, where I live here in, at least in the winter time, it's such a joy to be here and to be riding these horses. And the horse that I'm riding right now, this is Sasha. Uh, Sasha is a four-year-old horse that came to me. Uh, she had had about 90 days of training previous to this, and then, but her owner just needed a little bit more than what she got. She wanted to, she wanted her to get a lot softer in the bridle, she or lighter in the bridle. She wanted her to, to when she picked up on those reins, to bend to them, to flex to them, and it, she just, and she didn't get, as far as I know, much experience out on the trail, so urban or rural. And so I've done, I actually, it took me about two weeks to even ride her because I found just a, some holes on the on the ground in sensitizing and desensitizing. So I worked on those. She had real sticky feet and didn't really back very well. So she's really improved with that and, uh, and, and improved in her attitude. She had quite the attitude. She'd get ornery and kick and kick out. And, and when I was on her, she'd kick out. If I asked her to speed up or to side pass or something, she had reared with her owner. Uh, previous to coming to me and so I, I knew all that coming in and been working with her and she's really come a long way she's just I, I'm very proud of her and proud of how how far she's come in just a, a few short weeks and she's going to be finishing up her her month with me this this weekend or or tomorrow actually and then she's going to be one of the three fortunate horses that gets to go with me to to Colorado during May so the last week in April this year we're going to do the last week in April and the whole week of our four weeks in May and we're going to we're going up to shear sheep I'm not shearing but there's a crew shearing there's a lot of work to do up there and then uh, and then the sheep are going to be lambing and so there's a couple thousand sheep up there that are going to be lambing and I'm going to get to ride her and two other lucky horses up there and give them the experience that most horses never get to to, to see. Um, some horses get to be around cattle and we're going to be doing some cattle too but very few horses get to work around sheep like, like these horses are going to be doing and most likely I'll start roping off of her and actually, actually being live roping and, and catching some sheep that I have to out in the field. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm excited for that. And today for Thankful Thursday, I just wanted to say how thankful I am for all of the the participants, the 10 participants who, who signed up for our mini clinic series, the Riata Horsemanship and Lady Horse Boss mini clinic series. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing every other, I'm going to go ahead and turn around right now and I'll come back after the video. But uh, there's a road up there. I don't want to get out on the road during during this filming. I want to have both hands available. <laughs> um, so we're doing a mini clinic series, and the, I, the idea was spawned a while back when I had I've had a lot of people ask me if I could give them lessons, riding lessons, or or even groundwork lessons or what have you. And and I just don't have time to do that anymore. I have so many horses that I'm working with and training. We're booked out all the way almost through June now. And so, you know, and, uh, and we, we do charge a premium, but I give a premium, I give a premium product, a premium service. And I, I, I give people back products that they're, they're happy with, the horses that they're happy with, the skills that they, they get here at Riata Horsemanship. At any rate, uh, though, because I'm so busy and work with so many horses, we decided to, to try to somehow give lessons. And I came up with this idea of doing mini clinics. So every other Saturday, one group is going to have a mini clinic for five hours and every other Sunday one group is going to have another mini clinic for for five hours and then we're going to do that for four months so each group is going to get eight mini clinics and of, of four of five hours so that's 40 hours of of my time and um and th because there are only five people they, I get to really focus on each person a little bit more than a large clinic that might have anywhere between 10 and, and 25 riders depending on the clinician and uh, so five five people in there we're going to be doing a lot of groundwork the first three to four weeks then the fourth week we're going to saddle the fifth week we're going to start riding and seven or six seventh and eighth weeks uh, we'll be doing groundwork and riding and this is a level one series that we're doing january through april next fall in september 2022 we're going to be doing the level two clinic mini clinic series so those of those of the level one that want to advance to level two they can 
and uh, and then we might offer another level one as well uh, at that time. We'll just see. We'll see how it goes. But I I I felt like maybe we could. I, I knew actually, I, I knew that I could help people and really help them advance their horsemanship. So they're gonna come to the first clinic and then, uh, and then they're gonna learn a whole bunch of stuff, eight to 10 new exercises that they're gonna then go home and practice for two weeks. And in the middle of the, the first week or the end of the first week after the clinic, uh, we're gonna have a session where I, I get a, a phone or some kind of um, video session where I'm gonna interact with people and and have them express to me any any problems that they're having and then i'll try to help them through those problems so that they can then go the next week and and keep working so they're going to work for two weeks with their horses then come back we're going to refine those skills and then build on them and pretty much double their skills every week every week that they come and by the end of the mini clinic series we plan on having people that have have received an excellent product and that is the education and the training that they need to really become the horsemen and horsewomen that they want to be but it's they've been going years and years without being that because they don't have an out they don't have a way to do it and when people go to clinics they learn a lot but a lot of times that learning just just kind of stops for the next year or what have you so clinics are a lot of fun and where you do those as well we're going to have one in april uh, and then we're going to have some over the summer but our mini clinic series is just a way that we can i can help you progress through your horsemanship so i just want to say on thankful thursday how thankful i am for everybody that signed up and for this experience that we're just about to start on saturday i, I look forward to it and uh, i hope you guys have a wonderful day until next time be thankful live with purpose live with passion and as always stay safe in the saddle